Within Google Sites, there's a couple different ways that you can customize the different links and pages that you have. If you click on the uh, Settings button in the upper right hand corner and go down to Edit Site Layout, you see that the toolbar at the top has changed. So you can have it so that there is horizontal nav navigation. You can make it, or you can make it as a sidebar. So if I click on Sidebar, then I would have the option to change anything that I have here or any pages that I want underneath there. I'm going to take the sidebar off and you can see I have some buttons here. If I click anywhere in this navigation bar, this list pops up with different pages that I could add uh, uh, to that navigation bar. Google Resources you see is one of my main headings there and then under the there's a little drop down or fly out um, underneath there that has Chromebook resources and Google Classrooms. You can see here off to the left that iPad, iPad resources is the second one um, and there's a drop down for the My iPad home screen. Whether you choose to do navigation, horizontal navigation or sidebar, this configuring screen is the same uh, regardless. Instead of having a drop down, um, they actually, um, I guess they do drop down a little bit but it, everything is on the sidebar. If you want to add a page, click the Add Page button. These are pages that you have created within Google Sites. And if you click on it, uh, your list of pages should come up. So uh, if I click on the plus, I see the, uh, page, the sub page, the web resources is right there. I can also do a search. Um, if I know, if I have a lot of pages and I know that uh, what it's titled, then I could just search for it and it would show up. Uh, if you don't want to add a page, you can also add a URL. So let's say that I want to add a link to CNN. Uh, text to display would be CNN. And I would just put in uh, www.cnn.com. I can decide if I want it to open in a new window. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click that and then click OK. So if I scroll down to the bottom of my list, you see now that CNN is listed there. And it has that little arrow that shows that it's uh, an outside website. Let's say that I want this to be moved up. There are arrows along the right hand side. I can move that link up so it's in a different spot. Maybe I want it under Samer. Um, I or want it under a, another heading. I can indent. So now if I would click on Samer in my uh, navigation toolbar, CNN would fly out from underneath there. Uh, if I change my mind, I can move it up uh, to wherever I want it. I'm just going to leave it right there. On this configure screen, notice at the bottom you also have the ability, If you, I, I have mine set up as boxes. If you'd rather do tabs, kind of like file folders, you could do that. If you wanted to make them links, you could do that. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Notice that CNN has been added to my horizontal navigation. One other thing that you can do with Google Sites is um, you could have, you could create all of your different pages for different classes or different units, however you set it up. You can do that now and then you can hide them. Uh, so for example, if I want to get rid of the CNN, I can click on it and click on the trash can and it removes it from my list. The, if it was a web page, if it was a Google site page, it would still be there, um, but no one would be able to access it um, and it, or it wouldn't be in this uh, navigation page. So that's another way that you can um, customize it. And once you're finished and have this the way you want, click close and your page is ready to go.